Ladies and gentlemen, I am your editor-in-chief, Troy Smith, here at Rare.us for another daily briefing. Hope you've been enjoying these. Uh, the DOJ reportedly is planning to indict Hunter Biden by the end of the month. Now, if you want my honest opinion, I think we're going to see another sweetheart deal, uh, kind of like we saw the last time where they attempted to make sure that Hunter couldn't be prosecuted. And there's more breaking news just coming in from CNN right now. The special counsel uh, David Weiss intends to take a look. And there's more breaking news just coming into CNN right now. The special counsel David Weiss intends to seek an indictment against Hunter Biden relating to gun charges by the end of the month. That, according to a new court filing. Biden had previously reached a deal involving a gun possession charge that would have allowed him to avoid prosecution if he met certain conditions over a 24-month period. Once his plea deal, though, fell apart in court, the future of the gun deal, uh, uh, the gun deal has been in limbo. President Joe Biden couldn't stop touching Eric Garcetti's daughter upon his arrival in India today. Uh, it has to be pretty embarrassing for the White House to have to sit there and watch Biden do these kind of things. Um, and you have to wonder how long it will be before they are essentially incriminated for pretending as if this isn't happening. I would love to see communications from the White House because they have to be treating him like a baby. Let's take a look at that. <laughs> Also had video today of an absolute fool attempting and failing to steal a $3,000 electric scooter. Kids, this is why you stay in school and this is why you don't go around trying to steal people's electric scooters. And if you're going to steal something, you might as well steal something cool because a scooter, I mean, you're not going to look cool riding that. It doesn't matter, you know, how ripped you are or what, you know, what kind of sunglasses you got. Anyway, let's take a look at this idiot here. Max Corvid was home with his partner when they got a notification from their security camera on their phones that this man was on their property. You see the man wearing a colorful shirt and jeans walking onto the private property and heading straight toward the $3,000 scooter. He starts tugging on the front panel, ripping it off, attempting to hotwire the scooter. Looking around, he then hops on the scooter, trying to accelerate it multiple times before he gives up and leaves the property. Corvett tells me he feels violated, but thankful the man did not take his expensive joyride. Richmond police currently have 166 reports of stolen scooters and bicycles. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this daily briefing. We're going to be continuing to post these on a daily basis. So again, don't forget to uh, like this video and to subscribe to us here on YouTube. And also to check out our articles and share them with your friends, family, and on your social media platforms as we continue to build a new site that you can trust to deliver you the truth. It's such a rare thing in today's world, and it's so rare to have something that isn't uh, completely directed by advertisers and things like that. Folks, we are free speech absolutists here, so follow and God bless.